How's it going everyone? Indy Sean 45 coming at you. I know this is a Notre Dame video and um, well, I'm not exactly dressed for the occasion, but that's because I just got done watching the Bears choke away the game on Sunday night football. I don't care what anyone says, you know, they can praise Aaron Rodgers and call him a hero and a, the epic comeback. No, the Packers didn't win, the Bears just lost. They choked away that game on a silver platter. I mean, I'm just calling it like I see it. So call me a sore loser and all that, but uh, that's what happened. But that's not the topic. That's not the topic of this video moving forward. But I will say this though: j just watch when the comments start to hit the hit this video. That's all you you'll hear about is uh some kind of reference to what I just said to start this video, not about the the, no the Notre Dame Vanderbilt game next weekend. Just watch. <laughs> but anyway. On to the topic of this video and what it's supposed to be. This coming week, for Game 3, the Irish will be taking on the Vanderbilt Commodores. And this will be the first meeting between these two teams since 1996. And that last meeting, the Irish came out of that one with a 14-7 victory. And that game was down in Nashville, Tennessee at Vanderbilt. Um, I was 10 years old at the time when that game took place, and I remember it very well. It was a defensive battle, and... As, also, as a matter of fact, I think that's one of the only times, if not the only time, that Notre Dame has ever played a regular season game on a Thursday. Uh, but I could be wrong on that. But that was then. This is now. Um, and one of the biggest things surrounding this game in the offseason was Coach Mason of the Commodores. Uh, he was asked about traveling to Notre Dame Stadium and if he was worried at all. And he goes, no, no, I'm not worried. We, we, we play in the SEC. Uh, I'm not afraid of coming to Notre Dame. And of course, a lot of a lot of us Irish fans were in an uproar about that. Well, here's my take on this. Maybe the key word, maybe he was just misquoted. Uh, maybe this this whole thing was just taken out of context. Um, and you know, he he's right. You know, a lot of the SEC stadiums they are tough to play in. They're they're big stadiums. They're loud. The crowds are just absolute ruckus. You know, it, it's it's insane. So he's right about that. But at the same time, on the other side of the coin, Vanderbilt uh, and Coach Mason, this is a team that's usually a bottom feeder in the SEC conference. So coming from uh, an SEC bottom feeder, that that really doesn't st that really doesn't tell me much. So great, you're not afraid of playing in in the SEC and other stadiums, but uh, let's uh, let's show us a little respect in the process too. Um, but look, as far as the game itself, um, I could go over names and statistics and all that, but the game is going to rest on just one thing, and that's consistency in our offense. Um, not going to lie, and I think I alluded to this already in the recap, but yesterday's performance against Ball State, that bothers me. Um, granted, I mean, we we're just a few mistakes away from from it not bothering me, but the fact that you're only able to beat a max school by eight points and you have all this talent on your team, it's it's concerning. So it, it that tells me that it's not only the the playing going on going on on the field, but the coaching as well on the sidelines. So there's got to be some consistency. We have to start. Our O has got to pick it up. That's all there is to it. Um, Wimbush, he has to you know, make, be smarter out there, um, throw the ball away if the play's not there. We have to get a push up front with our offensive line. Um, cause right now our running backs, um, through two games, they are averaging like 2.8 yards a carry. And that's near the bottom of the barrel in the country. Unacceptable. I mean, you're not going to win many games with a, st with a stat like that, but we've got to start executing on the, on the field, get the push up front, Wimbush has got to start making better decisions, start making his passes. Um, I mean, yesterday's game, the completion percentage was there. The yardage was there because he threw for almost 300 yards. But zero touchdowns, three interceptions. That's going to do you in every time. Thankfully, it didn't yesterday. But we've got to start making something happen, happen in an offense. We've got to see some, uh, some progress there. And it goes to the coaching as well. We got to, you know, if a certain game plan's not working, change it up. So, 
As far as the defense, I'm not worried about them. We've been playing well through two games. I like what I I like what I've been seeing. Uh, the defense has been very very strong. The, bi the probably the biggest bright spot on this team so far. Um, but the way things are right now, if if the players and the coaches, if they can make the proper adjust adjustments and get some consistency consistency in there, Wimbush is smarter with his throws. The offensive line can get, can get their push. The running backs can find the lanes. Then I see this game being in the range of, say, like a 28 to 14 type score. But um, but if things get out of control, I won't be surprised if I see Ian Booker, Phil Dracovic in there pretty quick in place of Wimbush. Um, but he took a he Wimbush took a big step back yesterday, and hopefully he can find uh. He can find a way to take a take a step forward this coming Saturday, but if things aren't clicking, could get, we could be on upset alert. I hate to say that, but got to pick things up. We got to put it together. We got to get consistent. So that's what I'm that's what I'm calling this game: Notre Dame twenty-eight, Vanderbilt fourteen. Um, I know I'm probably saying a bunch of things that the average football fan could just say, but you know what? I myself am an average football fan, and you know. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, I think uh, I think it's kind of going to be like yesterday's game. We might get off to a little slow start, but we got to find a way to pick it up in you know the 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 second and third quarters, which so far have kind of been dead for us this year so far. Um, so got to pick it up. Got to get consistent. That's all I can say. So on that note, guys, the Zendy Sean Forty Five signing off. As always, God bless and go Irish. Beat Commodores.